Hi there. Real fast video. No video for a while. It's end of summer, you'll notice. Well, if, you've, if you're not a... Normally in the end of summer, my videos dwindle a little, and then I come back in September. So what I'm going to do here is just demonstrate the progress of my left hand. I've really been working on it. As I said in other videos, I gave the left hand its own floor rack time. So we sort of have the Ringo 1969 thing happening. Uh, I, do, I do have up here a Zildjian 7, a, a Sabian early, early Sabian 17-inch French. And then here I did buy a Zildjian A Sweet Ride. Don't get me wrong, I'm still Joe the Piesty guy. But just for my purposes now, you know, sometimes you got to mix it up and just sort of give it the flu. So what I'm doing here is, now get ready. I don't, no, there won't be a volume spike, right? R here you go. Just get ready. That's, gosh, rectal. No. No can do. Can't help you. You know what? <sighs> okay, here we go. Ready? So this is my Ludwig Standard from 19, I think it's 71, or 70, I think this is a 70 actually, that I put new flat imperials on. I think it sounds pretty good, get ready. I think I have the. But so here we go, my left hand, what I've been doing, see the thing is now, and I gotta make this short because the battery's gonna die, is I've been forcing myself to do more than like the minute and a half where I just get bored with it and I go on and play something else. So I have my clock there and everything. So what I've been doing are these types of things, which you'd expect. But I'll literally do that for like 10 minutes. I'll put the timer on for five or 10 minutes. The key is if you start feeling pain or a real fatigue, you stop. If you don't, take like a minute long break like you might if you, for example, if you were doing yoga or whatever and you do that little rest or karate, we used to do stuff when we'd rest back in the day. That was before I was beat up by my black belt instructor. You can find that video in my wacky playlist, the black belt horror. Anyway, so what I'm doing is this. And then eventually, what I'll do is I'm, I'm compressing it a little, like I'll, but eventually the more I do it, after a while, and I will, I uh, might do this for a little while. But I'll kind of save that for when I do the around the, around the drums. And I demonstrated this years ago. This isn't anything proprietary. Drummers do it all the time. So that's a really neat exercise. In fact, it's a lot like being on a frickin' exercise bike for your arms. And then if you bring in the bottom engine. You know what, I just bought this real fast, I'm getting sidetracked, but I just bought this used on The Reverb. And I can't help but think there might be, I hope there's not a crack going around the bell that's so fine. But anyway, this is the closest that I got to a 21 inch French symphonic. As you know, I love those symfo the French symphonics. Back to the left hand. And of course this helps, is keeping time, right? And you'll notice when I'm playing time with my left hand, there's a, a, a choppiness, kind of like if it was like, eh, 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 it's punk rock, yeah, 1970, let's say, 77, yeah, it's punk, yes it is, that's right. Uh, 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 uh.
So, so that's really it. So I want to do that. I've been working on my left hand. It's coming along. I can't. This really is helpful. Again, as commonsensically you think it would be, but it gets um like especially if I talk while I'm playing like time with my left hand, it seems like the part of my brain or what's left of it sort of shares the same sort of file space, my talking area and my left hand, at least as far as keeping a time or a melodic thing. Uh, um, so I guess that'd be right hemispheric, I suppose. So more videos on the way very soon, okay? I'm getting ready. to. Get, I get, just got a board. I'm replacing my board. I'm going to get other musicians down here so we can demonstrate with other musicians, okay? Which I think is very important. That's the new thing I want to do instead of playing along to... That's Moxie. I think somebody's at the door. Uh, more videos on the way. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Remember, if you have any drum-related questions or anything, bonzolium at gmail.com. If you want a bonzolium t-shirt, bonzolium at gmail.com. Don't forget, check out PFOZ, People's Front of Zeppelin. That's George Flutus and Ivan, Pete's channel, and also Bonzology. Thank you for watching. Have a good weekend.